Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Borough Home Bar. Apologies for the start of this because I'm going to be shouting maybe because my little mic that I usually use is out of charge and I don't have time to charge it, I'm actually heading out um, and I wanted to get this video filmed before I go so yeah, the video, the audio quality might not quite be as good as usual but I don't think anybody cares, <laughs> nobody really watches these anyway, if you do, thank you so much. Um, so that's first off. Second off, a uh, really exciting cocktail today. This cocktail I'm going to do is called Watermelon Sugar High because it has watermelons in it and I don't think it's an appro appropriate to name it anything other than that <laughs> um, and I'm rubbish at names. So that is what this uh, drink is going to be called. Now, I invented this drink with, uh, with dill in it but then I didn't have any dill today Duh. so I did have basil and I was like, oh is basil and watermelon going to go? And I kind of looked at it and apparently you get a vodka I can't remember the brand now, but it is basil and watermelon vodka. So I was like, okay, this I think this is definitely going to go. I've done it before with dill and it was beautiful. And I'm interested to see what it's going to be like with basil instead. So, enough yapping. What is in it? There is watermelon vodka going in there. There's some active it, which is my absolute fave. And we're getting dangerously low here. So I need to get another bottle. Uh, green chartreuse, which is another absolute fave. Some sugar syrup, some lime juice. I don't have any fresh limes. I don't know what's going on today. I don't, I don't have anything. Um, some lime juice and some fresh watermelon and some basil. Now the watermelon and the basil are already in my shaker ready to muddle. So we'll just crack on. So I think it's maybe three, three leaves of basil and a few chunks of watermelon in here. So I'll just give it a little bit of a muddle. Okay, so for vodka, we're going to do 40 ml of watermelon vodka. There we go, 40 ml in here. Then we're going to do 20 ml each of these two bad boys. I just love both of these things in drinks. Oh my goodness. They're right, they are definitely up there as my top, my top things to use. In there. I can't believe I'm running so low on this. It makes me sad, but it's going to make me really happy when I get a new bottle. So, 20 mils in here. There we go. So then I'm just going to do 50 mils each, making everything easy for myself, of the lime juice and the sugar syrup. I don't have any homemade sugar, sugar syrup at the moment, so this bottle will do just fine. That's also getting low, but. That's only like a few pounds versus this is, you know, 20 odd pounds, so. And preferably fresh lime if you have it. And if you don't, like me, then this is better than nothing. So yeah. Okay. Lovely. So that is everything in the shaker. I'm going to add some ice. I think this is my 70th video on YouTube. That is not a number to really celebrate. Maybe when I get to 100 videos I'll do something special but I was looking at it when I was editing one the other day and I was like oh this one will be my 70th one so I cannot believe I've done that many videos. Oh my lord. Give that a really good shake. <laughs> I don't need to be conscious of my little mic now and um, whenever I've got my mic on I always try not to shake it right next to it but I don't even have one. So it's fine. Any which way I like. So you really just want to give it a shake to you know muddle everything up. There's no egg right in there, so I don't need to go over the top. Um so let's get a little ready. So just a little basil leaf garnish. And then I've got a little watermelon on a cocktail stick as well. This shaker is really bad for spilling everywhere. This is why I don't often use it, but it's so pretty and everything was rose gold. So, so I need to kind of get this in quick. Oh, oh, it's not too bad. I think when I dilly dally and I don't pour it in quick enough, it tends to dribble everywhere. But if I just boom, tap it right over, then it's actually not too bad. Sorry, shaker, you're not that bad after all. There we go. Lovely color. Uh, and then some watermelon as well. So yeah, that is my um, watermelon sugar high cocktail with basil this time. And I'm really intrigued to see what this is going to taste like. Cheers. 
Oh. Oh, I was so right. The basil does work really well. It doesn't taste too different to when I use dill, to be fair. I think uh, the dill aquavit and the dill kind of, you know, makes it quite dilly, I suppose, which is what you want if you're using those ingredients. Um, but actually, you start, you still are getting a bit of dill because of the aquavit, but the basil is just, I don't know, it tastes really good. It tastes so good. It brings out the taste of the watermelon as well. Um, I don't know, I feel like that maybe tastes a bit more of watermelon -y than last time that I made it. So, um, oh, lovely, yeah, I'm really happy with that one. Uh, redeems myself from last week's video if anyone watched it. Although I did say in last week's video in the little, you know, bit in the bit after, I don't know what I'm trying to say, the bottom of the, the video that my husband Ben would like it and he actually did. He said it tasted like licorice, my video from last week at um, High on the Beach. And I don't like licorice, so I think that's why I was so offended by that drink. Um, but I'm happy that I've made this and I have redeemed myself because this is this is a winner. This is stunning. Um, thank you so much for watching me again this week on the Borough Home Bar. And I'll catch you next time for another Borough Cocktail. Cheers. <laughs>